Hello, hello, hello. Um, this is a video to support anyone that wants to uh, repurpose a BMW i3 uh, battery um, and some of its components inside. And for today's exercise, um, just going to dismantle the S box. Um, this came out of a 2018. Um, 33 kilowatt hour um, pack um, you can just about see the um, part number there um, for this exercise I've um, removed uh, the SME um, and these plugs here um, go to the high voltage um, socket on the side of the housing of the battery pack so um, those are removed as well um you would also see that there's um the connector that goes onto the first module in the line and also the connector that goes into comes from the last uh, module in the line um so obviously by this time the pack is obviously dead so there is nothing in here that um that's uh, of danger to us so um we can work with hands and um, with no gloves and no protection, just uh, normal um, gl uh, safety glasses. Um, it's pretty easy actually removing the, the top. Um, just clips on with these clips, which are super simple to, to get out. And when we remove it, we see this. Um, so just to make it pretty clear of what we we see um so you know what is actually in um in the s box um we've got the pre-charge uh, resistor down in here um obviously high voltage fuse that's uh, a pec 350 amp 450 volt um uh, fuse um it says bc 6000 amp on it um so that'll probably be super um, good for um, uh, a project. These things are really expensive if you buy them brand new. Um, here we have a negative contactor underneath, um, which is um, bolted on here. Um, we also have the positive contactor, um, and it's identical. These are Panasonic um, contactors, They're super nice. Um, uh, contactors um yeah and then obviously there's a bit of wiring loom that uh that goes throughout um which in some cases um are is for pre-charge um where they're taking voltage off for the um sme um and yeah um mainly voltage um, measurement i think so we're just um just going to go about removing take um, completely dismantling it so that everyone can see what's inside the s box and if there's any components that are valuable to us so that we can use them for our own ev projects Super boring bit, just doing screws. How many minutes on YouTube it's taken up with people just undoing screws? If I had my torque driver now, I would be gone. Done and dusted. So you can see where the, the contact is in there. But, um, and we can expose those as well. Not that that's very interesting. Undo these contactor contact bolts. Yeah, super professional, Jamie. Just getting your hand right in the camera. Nine, so everyone can't see. This is my first video. So 
things can only get better. On the other hand, they could get worse as well, couldn't they? So one thing I do really hope for you all is that at the moment we're all locked down in isolation and I hope that you're all managing to spend some time and uh, move on your projects. We've certainly seen a lot more inquiries um, since uh, we UK went into lockdown and uh, um, and uh, and that's uh, that's been good and it's been really nice to speak to more people um, that are um, involved in uh, um, in projects and uh, buying our batteries and components and um, this is pretty cool I mean if you can't use it then it's copper so you can recycle it we do that with all our buzz bars um, um, so here's a, another one now this is the negative um, buzz bar that comes from the the, um, the switch side of the contactor comes round and goes um, by a short cable goes round to the the plug on the side of the um, the pack so another bit of copper nice bit of scrap so now we're stuck with this um, plastic frame that we've got to get off and um, it will come up we just need to disconnect the, the coil um, 12 volt coil plugs from the relays um, and once we've got that off um, we can just uh, flop it to the side a little bit so we can really see um, so you can st still see the um, positive uh, buzz bar running through coming coming up here um, and the negative uh, connection to the first the first uh, module um, that's just an M6 um, bolt on there if we can remove this then if we can remove this then uh, so there's just an M6 bolt, so you could you could bring a cable in there of your own accord um, onto that, or maybe you could do something with this. I don't know. Um, sure, you must be able to buy these off of uh, from BMW if you want to. If not, that is copper. It's worth scrapping. Um, so now we've removed that, um, we can take uh, the bus bar out. Um, again, copper and scrap that if you fancy. Um, and we can see down to where the PCB is here. Um, there's the, D, uh, uh, the DC negative shunt um, and connection onto the negative contactor. Let's see if we can remove that. It's another M6 bolt that comes through to hold everything together. Uh, and yeah, just a pretty groovy um, buzz bar. Again, copper scrap if you fancy it. Um, now, obviously we removed these, um, the bolts for the um, this negative contactor. That's the part number on it. Um, these look like M4 um, threads, and you can probably see the um, coil plug there as well. So those are probably pretty nice, uh, certainly very nice uh, contactors. If you wanted to repurpose them into another useful. Um, We'll probably be selling these individually, but to be fair, I still think they're better off being left in the in the, the S box. Um, now we can remove the fuse. Um, you can see these are M M10 um, studs, um, and so very nice um, pec fuse there. Um, if we pop that out. This way we can get the positive contactor out, which is exactly the same as the negative 
um, contactor. Um, just as only difference that I could see was the serial number, which you'd imagine. Um, M4 um, threads and exactly the same plug. So. Um, so yeah, you can probably see a little bit more closer the uh, the um, pre-charged resistor there, which you could uh, certainly repurpose if you fancied it. Um, these bolts come out, but not that much really helpful for you. But um, I'll see if I can get the get the BC, um, PCB out, um, which I think uh, is helpful, but. Again, like I say, if you can't if you can't reuse it, then um, interestingly for us, we see the in the Mitsubishi Outlanders and um, the um, Oimiev packs and um, the Nissan Leaf packs. Um, they all have these uh, little circuit board boards that control the pre-charge and I don't really know how I'm gonna we can repurpose them unless we can control the can Ooh, there you go got some plugs on out bit of something on the back who knows what all that is somebody does Tom Debris could probably tell me for another world so that is pretty much about it so besides pulling out the wiring and scrapping it if that's what you wanted to do then the rest is uh, rubbish so maybe much better that we try to rep repurpose that absolutely the whole um s box what i'm going to work on is um, working out the pinouts and the connections that we need to make to get this connected to a uh, SIMP BMS board and uh, and I think that's going to be pretty simple um, which is going to be great uh, and and hopefully that will just make things easier for everybody so yeah thanks very much for your time again 